With Scott Derrickson officially on board to direct the upcoming Marvel film Doctor Strange, a report has come out that Marvel has hired Prometheus writer John Spates to write the script. Doctor Strange follows the adventures of Stephen Strange, mentioned in Captain America the Winter Soldier, a brilliant neurosurgeon who, following a car accident, loses precision in his hands. His quest to regain his former skill sets Strange on a path to become the master of the mystic arts. Dennis Byer sells Spates writing the script for Doctor Strange. I tentatively sell it with a Spates. Like, I actually personally liked Prometheus. I know a lot of people who didn't, and a lot of people who criticize the movie kind of point towards the script, which he was a big part of. I don't know <clears throat> if you guys have ever seen, like, there's like a three-hour behind-the-scenes video on, on the Prometheus Blu-ray, and it goes over all the, all the way from development to post-production of Prometheus, and it shows, because a lot of people blame Damon Lindelof for, for the script, right. because he's the most famous name. And he's the face they put in front of exactly. the movie, too. Yeah. But people don't know that Spates laid down all the groundwork for the entire script. Ridley Scott went in there, asked for a lot of rewrites and reworks, and so we don't know exactly what Damon Lindelof was responsible for, what was Ridley Scott was responsible for, and what was Spates was. And yeah. He had, doesn't have a resume. I mean, if you look, he's worked on like five or six different things, but other than Prometheus, he doesn't have a single writing credit. And that's the thing, right? I'm, I'm also going to sell this for now, like you hesitantly, because you can look at Michael Bay and you can say, he's the most awful director ever because he did Transformers 3 and he did w whatever else, but he's got other stuff on his resume too. Yeah, but he also did The Rock. I mean, he also did Armageddon, which is a guilty pleasure of mine. So he's not all bad, right? The problem with space is you're exactly right. There is nothing really else there in his resume to counterbalance that one kind of sour taste in my mouth, because I am one of those other guys. I didn't like Prometheus. I thought it was riddled with problems that I agree came from the script. And since that's the only thing we've got to judge him on for right now, I've got to hesitantly sell it till I see something better. I'm buying it. Uh, I'm I I definitely buying it, and I'll tell you why, because it gives me a lot of hope of what Doctor Strange is going to be. This sounds like a horror film so far, and it means well, that... Well, yeah, the right director. Uh, Look that, who they got to direct that's it. That's what I'm saying. It, yep. it, the direction of where they're going, that's why I was hesitant, going back to Ant-Man for a second, I was hesitant when you hear, like, the Adam McKays were, were getting brought up, and, and even when Paul Rudd got cast as a comedy, but it made me start thinking that... Marvel has, is shifting away a little bit than just the, the Avengers tone and the Iron Man 3 tone and all that. This is like you're going to have maybe a comedy with, with uh, Ant-Man and whether you like it or not. And now a horror type movie with Doctor Strange. So I like the writing and I won't blame, I also didn't love Prometheus. But I blame Ridley Scott more than anything else. Because like you said, Ridley Scott wanted the rewrites. A brand new writer, goes, Ridley Scott saying, hey, I want you to change it, you change it. So uh, Marvel is going to do the same thing, but they are clear with their tone of where they're going with this movie. So I'm actually very excited about this team up. I think it's going to be pretty exciting. You're right, I mean, it was it. Scott Derrickson. When, once they announced that Scott Derrickson was directing, because look, you've got Guardians of the Galaxy coming out, right? Clearly the biggest risk that, that Marvel's ever taken, but it still kind of fits in with the overall tone right. and feel of the Marvel Universe. This is a complete departure. So that'd be cool. And just as an aside, at what point, this is going to hurt me to say this, at what point do we stop giving Ridley Scott the benefit of the doubt? I mean, for a long time, it's like, oh, it's going to be awesome, it's going to be awesome. Oh, Robin Hood. It's going to be awesome, it's going to be awesome, it's going to be awesome. Oh, the, uh, oh, what was that? The Counselor. The Counselor. Oh, that happened. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, Prometheus. Like, at some point, like, Gladiator was a long time ago. I think he's going to save himself with this Mars movie. Um, but I think it's gonna, it does look really good. But I think I think that's going to be a lot of credit to Matt Damon. But it doesn't matter; he'll still get credit for yeah, it. Yeah, he'll still get credit for it. All right. Hey everyone! If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.